the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 has oh. arrived. Um, so it was it was nice to nice to come back and arrive uh, to to a nice shiny new device. Um, I will say it's definitely reminiscent of the the Galaxy Seven Edge. Um, not a lot changed, obviously, from the UI perspective. Um, the pen, you don't have to worry about putting in wrong. It will not break the device. Oh, good! They've, it's Leo Laporte proof now. Yes, it is Leo Laporte proof. Um, I'm liking the device so far. It was really interesting. So, for those of you who don't know, the, the Note 7 has gone to USB-C on the bottom. Okay. So, now they have to ship a different cable. The cables are, are for naught, um, which actually really pushed me into getting a wireless charger just so I could keep continue to use some of the old old cables and keep one cable in the bag so I always have something with me. Side note on this. So, so we all experienced this a couple iPhones ago, of course. Yes. Uh, well, geez, I guess a while, a while ago with the, the iPhone five. five, right? Um, was it as painful as when that went? No, cause I guess, so, so they did a really interesting thing. So they shipped the device with your regular USB dongle on one end and the C on the other. Ooh. Um, so that's, that's your typical cable. And instead of being micro, it's USB C. In addition to that, they shipped you one converter. So for another micro cable, I could slip this on and it becomes... Whereas we were charged $20 a yes. pop for... Well, by the way, I'm still using a converter to use my iPhone 5S in my old stereo in the bathroom as the radio. We, we, I have a, I have a um, alarm clock dock that I have to use the, the I'm sure they've gotten on. cheaper. I should buy more for the other couple of things that we still have that are 30-pin connectors. 30-pin mm-hmm. <laughs> will never die. Nope. Um... But the so they, they they ship you this so if you have another cable you can use this on the other cable. The other interesting thing and I didn't realize what the heck it was is there's they ship you this USB connector and it's USB like you would have on the side of your computer, um, on one side and USB C on the other. Um, now they did do the same thing to be honest with you on the, the Samsung Galaxy 7. I paid it no mind and just set it up and went went along my way. The interesting thing is is I actually didn't want to have to reset up the phone this time. And I had the 7 sitting right next to the Note 7. So one of the things is there's a there's a there's a Switch app that you can download and it's recently been updated um, from the Samsung uh, Galaxy Store. So what you actually do is you take the cable and you plug it in to the bottom of the USB-C port. Or no, I'm sorry. You take an old cable and you plug the big the big USB end into the adapter cable. And you plug that into the bottom of the phone, the new phone. Then you take the old cable and you plug it into the bottom of the other, the old, the old Samsung Galaxy phone. And it tethers them together, and it ex- it looks at all the apps that are on one device on, on your old device. It pulls fresh installs from Google of those apps, and then it pulls over all your photos, all your videos. Your if you have a theme installed, it pulls over your theme. Um, it did a really nice job, and it only took for having almost. 25 gig of data on the other device it pulled it over within 15 minutes wow the the other interesting thing that i noticed was it actually started charging the old device it it, the usb-c port on the the note 7 acted as a charging port for for another device so i I actually want to try this with a couple other cables and a couple other devices because the interesting thing too that does come up is it says that the application supports BlackBerry, iPhone, um, other other Android devices um, for the conversion process. So it will try to inventory and pull off what it can. I'm wait, wait. So so you're telling me that if I got a Note 7, I could pull off most of what I have on my iPhone 6S? That's what I'm interested in seeing. What can they... What I'm guessing it can at least get the photos and videos over. Does and I'm it, guessing they expect you to sync with... Gmail, yeah, to get your contacts and your mailbox. Like, is it going to do like kind of a comparison of like, okay, I see you have Instagram installed. Oh, hey, here's Instagram on on. on That's what I. 
That's like, what I don't Like, know. is there an app match that goes on? You know, like, oh, I see you have this game. Hey, there's a copy of this game over here. Like, 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 mm-hmm. like something like that. That'd be great. So it was, it was a very easy process to convert and all my icons were in the same place. Um, and it, it, it just worked really well. Um, so I ran, I, I installed a couple extra things for work and I removed a couple extra things. So one of the, the apps that I was sad to lose um, is the Oculus app for my VR goggles. Oh, no. Because with a USB-C port on the bottom and a device, I can't plug it into to Gear VR. You need a, there's a whole new one that came out there's with a this, right? Whole new Gear VR. It has a wider it has a wider um, angle, so you can see more left to right. Which I don't fits think with, I'm going to invest in that. Which just fits yet. with the larger phone. I, I I don't think this is a a thing. Like, you know, okay, well let's 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 put it this way. Again, she lives in a different world than the rest of us. Um, where where if you got a Samsung Seven S Seven. Um, like, you know, you're not picking up a note and need that, right? But even if you if you go all the way back to the S6, mm-hmm. so the S6, like, if you look at the, the release level, not the developer goggles, but the release goggles, the release goggles worked with the S6, all the S6 models and all the S7 models. Um, it actually has a, a switch that allows you to shrink and grow how far the connector goes in in from the side on the goggles, which allows you to adjust the different heights for the phone. Um, but because of the USB port change going to USB C, there's no, there's no way to put a converter dongle in there. Or I anything feel like, I fit. feel like this is one of those things where they'll continue to release new versions that just go with the newer phones. Um, and they'll incrementally improve those as they go. Like I was reading articles about how, um, well, yeah, this is the most comfortable of them and everything, right? Mm. It was a like, little light. I think it was a lighter. It had the wider, yeah. wider viewing angle. Yeah. Yeah, it's. It, I mean, they're going to they're going to iterate, and they can't because it's. I can't imagine. I mean, it's a hundred dollar device that they're giving away for free, so I can't imagine it's much to manufacture these things. It's a piece of plastic and some glass. Yeah, and some glass and some some. I want to say probably low level electronics because your phone's doing the heavy lifting. Like obviously, there's some buttons and stuff that that, that go through there. Um, there's pass through for power pass if you want through to for charge. power which didn't seem to work for me by the way on hmm. the SDK um, so I don't, I don't know I don't know maybe I did something wrong on that one but um, yeah I, I think I think yeah you're going to see this you're going to see other versions so don't be surprised when you're like oh there's a newer one yeah, yeah but there's a newer phone too with that that's like buying the new next version of Oculus that's an R600 box the, the, the two cool features that, that I saw right off the bat and they, they kind of revolve a little bit around the S Pen when you when you if you're familiar with the swipe in from the right on a, on a Samsung device to get like the edge menu to come up it's right. kind of like that but it's when you eject the S Pen there's a there's a, what they call I think an air menu that comes up on the right, and there's a there's a there's an app it's called Smart Select and it it allows you to select an area of the screen and take a screen capture. Um, they they actually allow you to marker the screen and then record that section of the screen, or you can obviously drag the entire screen, which I thought was a really cool feature. If you wanted to show someone how to do something. Um, you can also save it as an animated GIF. You don't have to keep it in like a in a, in a higher end format, so it's pretty small and compact. The other thing that they took into consideration, and much like an iPhone, you hit the home button and the power button to take a screen capture. Same thing on this device, but one of the options they give you is scrolling capture. So if you want to, if you had a web page that you wanted to screen capture, and it was it spanned multiple screens. It will actually allow you to scroll and it will capture and, and assemble a long screen into one screen capture, which I thought was really cool because there's a couple times for work or for some stuff that I'm doing, um, there's there's menu panels that 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 you have to scroll through. Um, and I want to take the entire menu panel, but it's more than one screen. So then what I end up doing is taking a screenshot, moving down, taking a screenshot find where they overlap, reassemble them in Photoshop, flatten in the image. You know what I mean? Um, this, you just sc- you just do the screen capture, hit the button for scrolling capture, and it, it lets you 
capture that all into one hmm. one image which i thought was really nice so those were two of the big features that i liked but i do a lot of documentation work and a lot of you know tutorials and stuff like that um so those were two things that were big for me right off the bat um the pen feels a lot like the old pen the one thing that um actually i now i want to go back to the s7 um, and try and i wish i would have on vacation had i known that i was going to have this right away i do kind of want to check the waterproof because it is supposed to be able to be submerged for up to a half an hour and up to i think like three meters of water um it would be nice to just not have to worry about taking it into a pool to grab pictures of the kid um, not worrying about it getting water in it at the beach. I, I, I really wish I would have. Well, they show it coming out of the water on the on the web page here, so uh, I, th I think they're calling for you being pretty okay. It, it, it makes me a little nervous with the pen going up in there. Like there, that's to me the pen and the port are the, the areas I worry about. Um, the one thing that I wish they would bring back, and I haven't seen since the S6, is I miss the infrared port. I miss being able to go and I had rooms set up. I don't know if you've used the peel app that comes with the device and you can actually set a, a, a widget panel, swipe down panel. Um, being able to walk into any room, mess with stereo components, mess with TVs um, is definitely to me a benefit because it kind of makes your phone a universal remote anywhere in your house, anywhere you go. Um, I wish they, if they brought back one thing, I wish it would be the infrared port 